Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, here we are in our little, uh, Minecraft save. And last episode we finished building this crane, but while looking at the thumbnail, there are two things I want to change. The first one, being these gears in the back, can be done a lot better, I believe, as well as the hook slash whatever this is, can also be done much better. So I'm going to remove those and replace them to form much, much better detailed blocks to them. I also wanted to give a very brief apology for the drama that ensued in the previous episode. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I will not be uploading anything Christmas Day. Or I guess tomorrow, technically speaking. Just letting you guys know. But things will return shortly after on the 26th. So, with that being said, let's continue on here and figure out what needs to be done to properly set this up. So... I think what I should probably do is just actually, is that gonna work? No, that's not gonna work. Cause I need like a hooker. Wow, that could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. Here, you know what? Just because that keeps happening, we're gonna make some changes here to the way that bo the bottom of that is set up. So, Actually, it's almost night time, but... Mm, actually, never mind, because I only have 35 slime. I was going to cover the bottom of that with uh, slime blocks. So, if I were to fall again, I would not have to worry about my impending death. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, it is night time, as I'm realizing right now, so... Uh, we're gonna hop down into the bed here and uh, get some sleep. So, uh, um, let's see, I gotta think of this in retrospect of how, when the video is gonna be uploaded. So last Wednesday, I should say, and I, I don't know what video was uploaded that day, let's see, I gotta think, so. Because I'm, like, way off schedule here because of, uh, I think it was, a, it was a Skyrim, no, it was Subnautica. It was the Subnautica video where I finally make it into the engine room of the Aurora. On that day, um, okay, I need to really stop multitasking here, but on that day in particular, I had to deal with my car's check engine light come on, which... Shouldn't surprise me anymore, considering what car I drive. Anyways, I spent a majority of... I'm just going to leave it as it was previously. Spent a majority of that day um, taking apart the air intake or the mass airflow. Well, I, I mean, let's see. Yeah, I guess it would be the air intake. Where it leads into the mass airflow sensor. And then where it will then go to the main actual throttle body controller. And underneath that, there is the ICV valve, which is the, which is the idle control valve and the ICV. So it's just the ICV, not the ICV valve. The idle control valve basically controls how well it um, idles. I was starting to get a really rough idle. Uh, turns out that the valve was clogged up so badly that it could no longer rotate. And that is a huge problem because that was basically preventing air from getting to the engine when it was idling. So, kind of. I mean, it's, it's more of... I mean, I mean, it's technically correct, but at the same time, not 100% correct. So... All I know is that after I cleaned it out and pulled all that stuff out and uh, ruined my hands, because, wow, they really hurt right now still, um, it, uh, it runs a lot better. So, 
That's cool. So I think what I'm going to do is instead of having one, two gears running parallel to each other, we're going to have one gear that will be bigger and have a center point to it. So we're going to run next door here. And grab um, I need four. We're going to grab four of these logs and merge them together into this guy here, the actual dark oak wood block. And then we're going to need to go and let's see. I think I might just stick with cobblestone and then let's see what else could I actually use here. Oh, nice. Oh, the detail piece. We'll use a uh, hmm. Let's get the main part of it done first and then we'll worry about the detail pieces. So What's going to happen is we're going to be placing a main log piece at the back of this here. So we're actually going to have to go and remove these two parts right here. We're going to have a main log there. And then we're going to have filler cobblestone blocks that go along here with corresponding stairs. Actually, we need those two down there for a little bit longer. Then we're going to go to the bottom here. And we're going to place... Oh, that's backwards. Those two. And uh, now we need to figure out what will be the best center block. Let's see what happens if we put smooth stone in there. Mm. I'll need to put... Slab. Oh, no, I can't do that because of the sides. Hmm. I don't know if it'll still look like a, a gear in the back because of... I mean, it's... Darn it. This is not as easy as I was hoping it would be if we're putting this together. Um... <sighs> Maybe I'll just leave it as one cobblestone uh, gear, because I'm trying to at least make it look like there's some detail and thought put into it, but at the same time, I don't have full access to the creative inventory, which is somewhat limiting my abilities to properly build. So, that's mostly just because I can't see all the blocks that I would like to have and play with them, so... Let's see how that looks there. Yeah, but that's not big enough to fit in the back. So, cause I don't like the way that it looked previously. It just looked really bland, and you couldn't tell the viewer what they were. They didn't look like gears. So, hmm. Um, hmm, looking at it from here, I'm just trying to kind of put it all together, because we can't have the cobblestone on that side going for kind of that look, because it just looks too bland. Double stacking them creates the first problem that we had. Wood wouldn't work because it would blend in with the main body of the actual crane. Stone brick would blend in with the main, with the body as well. There's no smooth stone stair, so I can't do that either. A different color of wood would break the general look of all of that. 
because I'm mostly using spruce all around here, so I can't just go and throw in like, even though I am using oak wood there, that's just because it looks more like a rope than an actual, um, like a, than an actual fence of a different kind. So I might replace these with dark oak struts instead, just to make it look a little bit less um, attached to the pillar because it's kind of obvious that it is, you know, not quite fitting in there properly. So I'm going to do that real fast. I'm going to throw in the struts down here as dark oak. Maybe I'll also replace the bottom stairs too. We'll see how that all looks together first off. And then I need to think a little bit more about how I'm going to do the gear. Then we're going to build the actual quarry house. Which will, in turn, I missed a thing there. I need to go back and pick it up. Let's see. Do I have any sticks? I do not have any sticks. Let's put the birch wood back in here, and then we'll go to grab some sticks. Um, doesn't look like it. Well, maybe it's because I didn't remove one of the pillars, that's why. Jeez, I'm an idiot. So let's start off by first testing how it looks when we do spruce and then that. Okay. So no, that doesn't quite look right. So let's go grab the other stair type. and test that out real fast and see how that looks. Hmm. No, I can't do it that way. It doesn't work. I need to keep it default. Actually, no, maybe that'll work with the darker struts. I might need to go and replace those bottom parts down there to see if I can get to fit better. Let's go make some more uh, dark oak fences and see how those look when they're paired with the other one. Meantime, I'm going to store some of the additional materials that I don't exactly need. No, I kind of still need a lot of these, so I can't just go start throwing things in there. Um. Hmm. Let's go make us a fence. Okay, we need one more. I'll do it. Alright, let's go set that up real fast. Like that. Then let's go get some sleep. There we go. <sighs> so, uh, for those of you who actually, um, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen, I haven't, the episode from my point of time right now has not been released, so I haven't seen your guys' reaction to it, but I, I still wanted to apologize again for um, the drama that ensued in the previous episode as I was building this crane. Hopefully um, it goes over better than I think it will, but if not, I am sorry about kind of um, going away from formula there while working on it because I really didn't mean for that to uh, happen. So, sorry. There's not really a really good way to properly do this with the, the having gears in the back. 
So I'm trying to think of a good way to actually like put this all together here because it's not like I can just like, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go with the original design here, but we're gonna stretch it out by one. And then we're gonna do that. We're gonna have it start there. We're also gonna have this piece right there on here. And then we need one more block right there. And then we're gonna go and place this as usual. Nope, not like that. So we're gonna go back to what it previously was, but we're gonna do um, something a little different. So that way the gear isn't the main attraction of the back of the crane. Because uh, there's really no way to do a detailed piece back here with only four blocks that involves a gear shape. That's about as close as we can possibly get. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to utilize more of these slabs here. So we already kind of have a break in to hold the gear in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a... This is going to be a little off of the main design here, but let's try it out. Back on the right spot. Yes, it did. So then we're going to have this extend here. And then have... This right now it needs to be a slab that extends back to there then I need to have a bottom piece to it um, I need to have that separate actually it needs to be a little more naturally uh, pushed in like that well that should probably be a little lower Hmm. Let's see. I could probably get away with. Hmm. That end piece there needs to be gone. Let's see. That still looks a little off, but it looks better, I guess. Um. And then we'll do, let's see where that's positioned at there. Can I do that? Would that work? Not really, no. Hmm. That doesn't really work either. Oh, I should probably do it on top or something like that. So I'm trying to make it look like that it's, that the gear is like, you know, pushing like a piston head or something like that. Like, I know I could use like a regular piston, but I want you to look a little different. Like it's like um part of like a hydraulic machine or whatever, like it's doing a hydraulic pump. But I don't really have a way for that to be properly conveyed. So, no, because that, we already used the actual iron fencing right here. So I can't, Use it over there as well, unless we use it in a different style. That wasn't what I was ex expecting. Whoops. Um, no, that's actually fine as it is. You know, we're going to leave the crane alone. I think the crane is fine. It looks better than it did previously with that um, weird double gear system. Yeah, it kind of looks like the gear is actually powering something right now. All right, now we have to actually work on the quarry house, which will be right here attached to this. And then we're going to probably have some weird, I don't know, um, probably have some coal blocks over here and then some other weird just stuff to make it seem a little bit more orthodox. 
So we're going to clear out this area under the fence, as well as some other areas around it to properly prepare for the expansion of the quarry area. Can't believe I just spent 20 minutes working on the crane. Hmm. That's what happens when you're uh, sort of out of it, I guess. It's been a long week. Of course, as soon as my channel actually starts to like, you know, pick up a little bit of heat and get somewhere, I end up having to deal with my grandmother and her uh, coming into town and kind of screwing a lot of things up and whatnot and whatever. It's family. I have to deal with it. Okay, there. Now the path can actually properly fold into with the crane. And then we're also going to need one that extends this way. All of the blocks underneath the fence, that needs to be brick, or stone brick at least. So let's go grab that piece of cobblestone down there because I see it rolling around and I just want to grab it. So... There we go. And then we'll do... We need to get more spruce, but we have spruce slabs here, so we're going to use those just because it's a much cheaper way to do pathways because you can save... You can basically double the amount of blocks you're going to use by using um, slabs instead of actual spruce wood. So, there. That does not naturally connect. Hmm. I would need to do the same thing surrounding... Oh, that's the farm. I'll do the same thing on these two sides here, and we'll call it good. I think it looks like it at least has some evenness to it. There we go. Um, let's see. And then the actual uh, quarry house itself, because we need to properly structure it so that way not only does it fit, but it also can function. So we need to mark off the areas here that we're going to be using as open areas for easy access as well as, oh it's nighttime, that's great, where the actual house will be built. So let's see, before I actually go and uh, sleep or whatever. I'm going to go store some of the extra junk that I have in here. I'm not in particularly you. God. I swear like my English skills just exponentially plummet as I try to record these uh, videos. I swear I can speak English properly. 
So, I also, I mean, I don't know. Things have not been really going smooth with any of the YouTube stuff and trying to juggle everything right now. I mean, you would think that after, uh, like, my uh, semester ended, things would be a lot easier, but... Um, family showed up, so... Uh, right now, um, and as of recording this, I should say, I am currently at 89 subscribers. Let me do a quick double check and see here if that's even uh, still true. Maybe I'm at 88. I wouldn't blame them. I'm still at 89. So that updated a little bit this morning, last time I checked. So who knows? Oh, there's a zombie down there. Soon to be dead zombie, but a zombie nonetheless. Hmm. So we're going to finish off the pathway here. And have it extend right to there. And end. So that will be the majority of... I don't like this at all. It's too artificial. I need to outline it. Or fall in there. That works too. So. Alright, I'm going to have to deal with the fact that the farm is going to be defiled here with that. Um, let's see. That's going to need to be a wood connection point. And thankfully we have these two points here to base off of. So, that'll make things a little better. That's a decent increase there. 37. That might just be enough. Or more than enough. I don't know, because apparently I'm terrible at counting. Here we go. Hmm. And then we'll replace that with a uh, stone brick too, just to finish the look. Oh wait, what am I doing? I mean, I can just fill the area with two slabs. So, here we go. Um, shoot, I don't think I have enough spruce to fill this part in here. There we go. Good enough. No one will ever know. There we go. That'll do. So now we need to have... Uh, let's do some dirty materials right here. So this way it kind of fits in with the whole narrative that it's uh, a quarry where resources are actively being mined. Uh, 
then we're just gonna go and uh, fill this whole thing in. There we go. And then we're just gonna do that, maybe? No, that looks more like an L. Not really a pile. There we go. Just a random stack of coal. We're actually gonna move this, I guess. We're gonna put the random stack of coal probably somewhere over here. Like that. The decoration piece sort of behind the area. Then we need to start doing the foundation for it over here. For the actual little hut that we're gonna be doing for um, the mining shed where we'll kind of store a lot of the stones and whatnot. So, and then the forge will be up here. So the mining shed has a maximum ability to extend out to here due to previously set restrictions by the woodcutter's house. So it'll go to here. Now this isn't gonna be an actual house. This is just gonna be a little hut, mostly. Well, that's exactly what I said about the woodcutter's house, but uh, it turned into a full-on um, actual house. So, I don't know if uh, that'll happen again, but I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. So, I don't know what we're going to do with this space here. I'll f think of something, but let's see. We might actually make it go so that way it goes back to here. And then they'll probably be mostly filled with chests to store all the stones and whatnot that are collected as uh, time progresses. So, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna clear out the bottom ground here so we can probably place down the uh, floor blocks that'll be used in the area. The area's been cleared out here, so it looks like we'll be able to store one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if we have separators of three. That leaves a total of uh, three double chests we can put in. So we'll have one there, and one there, and then one there. That leaves one extra spot there. So. Hmm. Not quite the end result I was hoping for. In order to preserve the evens, we're going to cut it in right there. So this way we will have an even amount of double chests going. Then we're going to stack them along the wall here and mark it with uh, what kind of stone type it'll be. Or something like that, I don't know. Maybe we'll just fill it to the brim. So this is probably going to be more of a shack not really like an actual four-walled hut, so. Uh, this actually turned out to be a lot more uh, ambitious than I first expected it to be, because this was only supposed to be a very simple, um, quick-roofed house. Basically what this is over here, it was only supposed to be like kind of this with a um, roof over whatever, but it turned into this, and... Who knows, maybe it'll be the same situation, but you kind of already have the main start there with uh, that there. The, uh, the main hole, so that kind of adds to the aesthetic, I guess. So with the sun right there, we're going to see if we can quickly sneak up here and get a good screenshot. Maybe not. So... We're gonna maybe try to do it from the top over here. If we're quick enough, we might be able to get it before the sun is fully down. 
Mm, I don't like that screenshot at all. Well, it is, uh, it is nighttime, so I should probably go and sleep real fast, and we'll see if we can get one final screenshot in. And... Uh, All right, there we go. So while I uh, get the screenshot here, I just wanted to give everyone a thank you for dealing with all my shenanigans. And if you're a new viewer who's watching through this all the way, um, I highly recommend that you check out some of my other stuff because, I mean, it's 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 all right, I guess. People seem to like it for some reason. I'm still trying to figure out why, but I mean, it's actually not bad. So, there are people who do seem to actually enjoy watching my content, which I'm still a little shocked by, but at the same time super happy about. So, thank you to all of you who are not new viewers, who are continuously watching this series. This is episode 32, I believe. This was constructed um, a little bit... I believe this was finished in episode 10, this little kind of oasis area. Maybe it was actually episode 8, or 6, no, it was episode 6, is where I finished the oasis. Episode 20 is where we finished the house. Episode 28 was when we finished that. And well, we're working on that project over there. Now, of course, this is also in between resource collecting. So, it's not like it's been taking me that, well, I mean, it kind of has been taking me a while to do all that stuff, but... There has been some resource collecting and other adventures along the way. So maybe once we get this area kind of more constructed, I can begin to explore and see what the Minecraft world has to offer. But with the upcoming 1.14 update, I'm a little hesitant to explore the other chunks in case of there being a future village nearby. But in the meantime... This is what we have constructed so far, and I wanted to give all of you a huge thanks for sticking around and subscribing, liking my videos, commenting, interacting, or lurking, and if you're on Tingles, because I know some of you are out there, thank you for uh, watching my content on the Tingles app. It's been kind of cool to see Tingles grow independently from YouTube. Um, if you are one of the 15 followers on Tingles, thank you very much. And if you're on YouTube and wondering what I'm talking about, there is a app called Tingles that allows you to watch my content. And if you're a premium member of Tingles, you can also download my videos for offline viewing. So, and if you would like to, you can also buy me a coffee by leaving me a tip on Tingles, which is basically like an in-app purchase. So if you would like to be generous enough and uh, purchase my coffee for tomorrow morning, that would be awesome. Anyways, thank you for checking out what I've been kind of doing, and have a fantastic day.